My friends, welcome here to another edition of the Vitamin G. And yes, we are weeks here, almost a month into the COVID virus at the time I'm recording this, and the pressure in the marketplace is rising. It's not rising a little bit, it's exponentially growing on a daily basis. This pressure itself is doing some interesting things to all kinds of different people. We got people fighting over toilet paper in Walmarts. We got individuals masked up in the parking lots at the Target. We got your neighbors who are worried to even talk to you on the same side of the road. There is a pressure that is rising and that pressure itself is interesting because that pressure is exposing humanity. Our principle today is a very simple one that we're gonna take a dive and look into. Because oftentimes we think that it's the conditions around us that make us, when the reality is the conditions around us expose us. Let's look at this. The conditions around you expose you the conditions okay well let's start there with the conditions what does this mean the conditions is everything that's going on around you it's the relationships around you it's the people around you it's the situations around you it's the constant noise and movement of life that sits on the outside of you this is happening with your wife it's happening with your husband it's happening with your children it's happening with your entire life of people close to you in your home and now inside of shelter in place, there's even more pressure for people and that pressure itself becomes a condition. That condition exposes the reality of who you are being. It's not the conditions make you. Conditions actually break you. Conditions cause you to be seen and exposed. And right now, these conditions that we're in are exposing more businessmen and more businesswomen and more entrepreneurs and more human beings than anything that has ever hit the planet before. Bigger than any recession, bigger than any terrorist attack, the global marketplace has a condition that it has been placed into. As two big divine hands reached out of the universe, grabbed onto the earth and went like this, ha, and shook it. And inside of that shaking, exposed you and exposed me. But see, exposure is an interesting thing because it gives us a chance, a chance to see something about ourselves that maybe we wouldn't see otherwise. I want you to consider some of the greatest times inside of your life have never come about in times when the conditions were perfect. It's come about when the conditions were not perfect. It's when the conditions were actually built under a pressure that it forced you to break and then to be reborn. See, the conditions can be twofold. You can have conditions that are desirable and you can have conditions that are not desirable. In both of these, all these conditions do around you is expose you, and here's the rest of the statement, to you. You are exposed to you. That is the greatest part about exposure, is that exposure itself isn't about other people seeing you, although at times your spouse exposes you, your children could expose you, because the conditions inside those relationships can be stressful as fuck. Sometimes inside a business, your team members expose you, your clients expose you, the market conditions expose you, the government exposes you. But see, none of these individuals or conditions are actually exposing you to anything more than yourself. This is the beauty and the curse of pressure-based conditions, is that conditions allow us to make a decision. Am I going to be a victim about what I am seeing and project that as seeing onto another person, blame them, persecute them, push them away? Or am I going to make a different decision, which is I'm going to see the area that I'm exposed in and inside of that exposure, make a decision to change something about what's occurred. See, your conditions are your conditions, but being exposed to you inside of yourself, seeing the version of you that is broken, the version of you that is weak, the version of you that was not prepared, the version of you that is inadequate to pull shit off. This is not about going into pit of guilt and shame. It's about ultimately seeing how you can level up your game. So my friend, when you look around your current business life and you look across your entire world, across body being balanced in business, where has the COVID virus exposed you the most? And inside that exposure, what are you learning about what you're seeing about you 
And this last piece, what are you committed to doing about it? My friend, that brings conclusion here in this week's Vitamin G.